Hey, what's up guys? It's TCG Minx here. Just uh, thought I'd upload my first YouTube video. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show off my collection for now. Uh, I've laid out all my Baku cores that I currently have. I will show all them off in a later video. But I've got upcoming surgery soon. And um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for me to recover from that. I am recording this before, but I'll probably end up posting after I've had all my surgeries and medicals. But it's just a little something now, but for those that I am designing a product for, which is, I've announced, it's a Matrix Pod. Um, it's a little accessory for you to carry your, your Bakugans in. It will carry your standard 40 card double sleeved deck. Three Baku guns, including Ultras, and your Baku cores. Um, colours will come in the faction colours, and I will offer custom ones eventually. But until I nail down the final design, I'm only offering the basic standard six faction colours, such as Pyrus, Arlus, and Darkus, etc., etc. But yeah, I'll start off with um, my main team that I use, and that would be Pyrus Dragonoid Core. I've also laid out all my cores, so that way I know I'm going to get a guaranteed a guaranteed landing. But yeah, he uh, he's pretty sweet. I mean, I've always been a big fan of Dragonoid. I cannot wait for the Ultra. Uh, you can see his B power there printed on him. He has 200 B, so he's fairly low. But his evolutions and Pyrus domination cards are absolutely OP, especially Titan Dragonoid with Dan Kuzo. Two cards that I am on the lookout for at the moment. But yeah, this is one of my main team. Um, yeah, so that's Pyrus Dragonoid. Next up is one that I'm pretty sure will not roll and land for me, and that is Ventus Trox Core. Um, I love Trox. I'm, I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs, especially a T-Rex, though a Brachiosaurus is my favourite. But yeah, I have a Ventus Core Trox, and see, he, he just does not like to... Uh, I think it's because I'm on an uneven surface. My table is made out of pure oak wood. But yeah, there we have Ventus Trox. Um, I'll try and do his hands, but... It's very difficult because I'm doing this one-handed because I'm recording with my phone right now. But, yeah, there we go. Not perfect, but... I will pretty much say what Kodak has said, and that is... This guy is basically Pac-Man. Like, you got waka 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 waka. It, it's Pac-Man, but with a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, I still love trucks, nonetheless. Very... Very good Bakugan to have on your team, especially for the turbo abilities that comes with Ventus. And I find that it complements um, Darkus quite a bit, because with Darkus you have to sacrifice. And Ventus is all about getting energy. So I think they kind of complement each other. And of course with Pyrus, with Fury, the less cards you have, the better. So that's my Ventus Trox. And this one is my favourite Bakugan. This is my boy. I don't think I'll ever not use him. <laughs> and that would be my Darkest Nilius Ultra. I, I absolutely love Nilius. I've seen YouTube clips of him on the show. And i watched other YouTubers unbox him and whatnot. And I knew I just had to get it. I mean, look at that, he just proper jumps, and then there you go, he's... To me, he's the new series Hydronoid, even though it has been announced that we're going to be getting a Hydronoid. But that's just what it came, struck me as, at the, at the beginning of it. He's the new reboot series of um, Hydronoid. He does have arms that extend just here, but I kind of like keeping this close, because it's like, whoa, whoa, back up there, fella. Yeah, this is my Darkest Nilius. He's definitely my main. I do have another Darkest Nilius in his core form. 
but I just prefer using the Ultra because I like to have an Ultra on my team at least. But yeah, that's uh, that's my main team right there. I do have quite an extensive, not a very extensive collection, but I do have a slight small collection. Um, I keep them in these protective little things for now because I don't have a Baku storage. I keep my deck in this and my cores in there. And this is where I keep all my cards in my Vault X Pro binder that's zipped. And yes, I am using a U old Yu-Gi-Oh tub just to uh, keep all my Bakugans in. But yep, here we have the core Darkest Nilius. As I said, it's just Nilius, but still in his Darkest Faction, but his core equivalent, he's just this two-headed Dragonoid-like thing. I'm going to say he's a Hydra, just, just for the sake, because he has multiple heads. But yeah, I love Nilius, he's definitely my favourite. Uh, only one that comes second would be Trox, and then Dragonoid third, hence why I keep them on my team. Uh, following the Nilius theme, we have the Heos equivalent of him. I love this one because I think if I'm going to do a, another deck, I'll definitely have my Chaos Cornelius and my Darkest Cornelius. So I can have like a light and dark versions of him. But yep, there's Nilius. I'm just going to carry on at the minute because I'm not sure how long this will last. Here we have Ventus Mantanoid Ultra. And he did not want to want to flip for me for some reason. Also, I do apologise if I'm getting my words muddled up a little bit. It's purely because I am dyslexic. So I do apologise. Yeah, we have Mantanoid Ultra. <laughs> also, you don't have to forgive. That'll be my dog in the background. But I quite like this one. He, he definitely looks like a Mantis. I, funny fact, I used to have a pet Mantis as well, so... That reminds me of that. Here we have a Ventus Fangzor, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's a Fangzor. Of course, they never want to stand for me. I must work on my rolling technique. But, yep, yeah, there we have a Ventus Fangzor. Nothing really too special about Fangzor at the minute, apart from the darkest equivalent. Here we have Pyrus Hydrus Ultra. He actually did the flip for me this time. Um, Hydrus Ultra, he's definitely not my favourite, but character-wise, I do, I do like him. I have seen clips. But yep, yeah, that's the Pyrus version. I do also have the Arquos Ultra. <laughs> also, I'm not going to rearrange the cores again, because that would just take too much time. But uh, yeah, there's the Arquos. Here we have a um, Heos Halcor Ultra. He picks up the core, but he doesn't want to flip in open. I think mine's a little bit defective. But yeah, there we have a Heos Halcor Ultra. I definitely want to pick up the Darkest version, because I am a Darkest Brawler, I believe. I'm more Darkest than Pyrus. Here we have a uh, Arquos Pegatrix, and of course he did not want to roll onto a core for me. They never do. There we go. I love this version of Pegatrix with the blue and the orange, especially on the horn there and his feet. Though I do wish these bits on his wings were that orange colour as well, because I think that would look really nice. Maybe the tail, not too sure. But yeah, that is the Arquos Pegatrix. I'm definitely thinking I might make a deck around him. Uh, here we have a Arquos Garganoid Ultra. I, I I love the design of Garganoid, though he kind of reminds me of a bit of a weird winged spider, just from the front. There you go, his head, right there. I tried to build a deck around him, but I don't have. Uh, enough cards to make a strong enough deck for him. 
but I will get some more after I'm back at work and all my medicals are all done and everything. But here we have a Ventus Maxator Ultra. I I love Maxator. Hey, he picked up two cores there. Hey, I might have to use him. Um, yeah, again, I am sorry. I am using only one hand at the moment until I get a proper camera and stand. Yeah, here we have a Ventus Maxator Ultra. I believe he's one of the strongest Ventus Bakugan. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, standard base of 300B, but his evolutions are absolutely insane, especially Titan Maxator. And I think it's Diamond. But yeah, definitely looking forward to getting evolutions for him, and I will build a deck around him. Here we have a Darkus Hydrus Core. I was using him before I got my Nilius. Because as I said, I'm mainly a Darkus Brawler. But as soon as I got my Nilius, I swapped him out for this. Uh, yep, this is my Darkus Hydrus Core. And back to a Pegatrix here. We have an Arlus Pegatrix. Nothing we haven't seen before, it's just in the Arliss faction. I love the black eye detail on here. The silver accents it very well as well, especially on the wings. I think they definitely got that right. I cannot wait for the Ultra of Pegatrix. I'm yet to pick up a Heos equivalent for him. And we have our last Bakugan here that I have, and that's a Aquos Fangzor. Of course, he did not want to stand. There we go. Yeah, we have Arcos Fangzo. I, I like Fangzo, but he's very weak and he's very light, so it's very difficult to get him to land on a core for me. And his Ultra just looks kind of stupid, in my opinion. I will pick it up for collectors, collectors' sake, because I am a collector, I'm a hoarder of these things. But yeah, that's that's the extent of my collection, at least physical Bakugan wise. I will do a separate video on my cores and my cards, but that will probably be after I've come out of hospital and everything. I do sincerely apologise. I have made a public statement on Twitter, or at least I will, after this video, uh, regarding my Matrix pods. Um, I am in contact with two semi-big YouTubers that I'm a huge fan of that you guys should check out. And they are Briar626 and Ragen XXX Cajun, or RXXC. I will get your pods out to you guys, but unfortunately because my health is the way that it is, I am having to put it on hold. I will, pretty sure I will have messaged you about it. If I haven't, I do apologise. Yeah, guys, that's my Bakugan Battle Planet collection. Um, the premiere for the UK is next week, I believe. And I'm definitely looking forward to these being released here, because at the moment I'm having to import them from American Amazon, which is very expensive. Yeah, guys, I will see you soon. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.